Evening, Nick. I do think you're an honourable man, but what you're forgetting is that all these sanctions were in place because you put Cameron into number 10. He didn't have a majority. So there'd have been no work programme, uh, nowhere near as many benefit sanctions, and you could have made a different choice, and that's why people don't trust you. People like me that voted for you yeah. in that election did not vote Liberal Democrat to put Cameron in number 10. Yeah, but, but what, what, I, hang on. What, what, what did, what, just to explain, what did, what did you expect? What did you want? I'm sorry. What did you want? My preference would have been for him to uh, have continued negotiations with, uh, with Labour, which I think a lot of Liberal Democrat natural voters are, are people I... who voted in Labour that, that were protesting. But can I just make, there's just a little matter of democracy. You could you have know, chosen. No, no, no. You did choose. No, that is not. Accept responsibility. You did choose. That was your choice. Can I, that's not actually the case. <laughs> uh, after the last election, no one won a majority, whether you or I like it or not. The Liberal Democrats did not win. I'm not Prime Minister. I lead a party of 8% of MPs in the House of Commons and it was the Conservatives that won the most votes you and seats. You were part of that great team and now slagging each other off. C can I? David Cameron says you were a great team and now, now you're all slagging each other off. No, he, keeps, he keeps talking about darkened rooms as does Ed Miliband. <laughs> I, I, I have to say to you, if either of them still think they're going to win a majority they need to go and lie down in that darkened room. But look, no, the point... The point... The point... The point I'd like to make, the point I'd like to make to you and to everybody is this. Is